good evening YouTube and Facebook. I'm making this video for both platforms that I have. Before I say anything, y'all already know my drill. And it's going to never stop. It's going to always be all my worship, my praise, my thanksgiving, all the honor to the Most High, the Alpha, the Omega, the Good and the Terrible, the everything, our everything. He's everything, everything we could want and more. For his son, Jesus Christ, in the English way of saying it, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yeshua HaMashiach, we can't give nothing but speechless gratitude, speechless. He did what no man or woman could do or imagine to do. He was chosen by his father for that purpose. He the only human slash spiritual being that can open up the seven seals. The father found no one worthy. No one was worthy. Go in Revelation. We got the Holy Spirit due to the death of the only begotten Son. And the Holy Spirit teach you all things. Yes, the warfare is going to get serious because now you are a stranger and a foreigner in the land. You are no longer part or citizen of the land spiritually. So Satan and his friends is going to bring the heat. And you stand and you bring the fire. You do not allow Satan to conquer you when Jesus conquered him already. Yes, of course you're not used to people turning against you. Of course you're not used to people coming at you because once you was when you was in the world once upon a time, you did not see so much prosecution towards you. But it's real. You cannot fold because people saying all kinds of negative negativity things, negative things upon you, putting dirt on you. What did our king, our Messiah say? They're gonna prosecute you for his name's sake. They're gonna leave you for my name's sake. You may get killed for his name's sake. But you got to understand 10 Matthew 10 27 through 28 do not fear the one can just kill the body Satan only use people to just depart you from this earth he cannot do nothing with your soul unless you stay in your sins then the father he got to judge you rather you can make, you can go into the new home or cast into the lake of fire. Stop allowing people that's still tag teaming or partnershiping with Satan. Stop you from focusing on the goal that shining armor the one that loves you no matter what if you're a drug addict he loves you if you're a child molester he loves you if you're a rapist 
he loves you. If you are ambassador, he loves you. If you are liar, he loves you. If you are murderer, he loves you. If you are sorcerer, he loves you. But you gotta walk away from darkness to experience that true spiritual love. As our Messiah, the King said, I come to save the sinner, not the righteous. See, when you are righteous, you full of pride. Everything is about you and what you did. And if you become spiritual and you get baptized by the spirit, you understand that it ain't the person speaking, it's the demons behind the person that's talking foolish. As Jesus said in Luke 6, what think of ye, ye? The blind can't lead the blind? The blind can't lead the blind. What think of he, ye? Go in Luke 6 and read the whole chapter and let the chapter talk to you. See, let the word speak to you. Don't go in the word with your carnal mind, your, your upset mind, your dried out garden. Don't go into the word with that. Go into the word looking for the living water to wet in that soil. Bring life back to your soil. Deny yourself. Pick up your cross on a daily and follow Jesus. The father gave him authority over the heavens and the earth. And I don't care who don't believe it. You cannot let Satan stop you from believing. You see a person on the side of the road need help, help them. Anybody in your family get in any kind of trouble. Help them. Wait a minute, I'm driving, so be be safe with me, cause you got to. I got to keep my eyes on the road. There's too many coming each way. Help them. Anyone that's sick in the hospital, help them. I don't care if you got five dollars and somebody need that five dollars, give it to them. Love one another. Not hurt one another. And I'm turning it to the sky. Because look up to the sky. Look at the nature. Look at the labor. Look at the artwork. It's just like a picture that's being painted. What do painters paint? Pictures of the creation that was created by the creator. You selling the creator creation. It was here before us. Be here, here before our time. Y'all are losing battles because your faith is not there. You're rejecting the knowledge and the true wisdom because you are still captive in yourself. You still fearing Satan. You still fear in this world. The prince of the world. You still living in your flesh. I make deliveries on a regular basis. And my mission is not about the cost or how much money I accumulate during the day. My mission is to go and help others. I could show you all those compliments that they give me. 
I just don't go and drop the de deliveries at their door and just keep moving. No, I get to know. This is the mission the Father put me on to get to know souls and help souls and pray for souls. Because I done been where they done been. Majority portals. You cannot let just because your flesh is failing you. You cannot let that stop you from serving the most high. You cannot let that stop you from giving up. Your soul is still need your soul still needs help. And the help comes from who? Our King, Jesus Christ. It's many people that struggling behind their homes. Because they were so brainwashed of loving themselves, nobody really gave them the spiritual truth that that flesh one day is going to fail. It's going to get old. It's going to age. It's going to die. And in the midst of all that, where is your soul going to be placed at? It ain't about how much money you make. It ain't about how many cars you got. It ain't about how many women you can get or how many men you can get or how many children you can have. What position you in right now, if the father say, come home, where would he put your soul? And not on this worldly sense, I'm talking about spiritually, because you and the father know what's going on behind closed doors. The father, if the father wanted sin in his kingdom, he would have kept Lucifer and a one third friends that made so much chaos in the kingdom. He would have kept them. He would have never judged them and kicked them out if he wanted, if, he, if we were allowed to bring sin with us. He would have kept them. He would have never made the word. So as our journey on earth, we know the sneers and the deceit and the craft and the cunningness of Satan. He would have he would have never gave us this book to protect us. If we could stay in sin. You know it and I know it. Y'all reject the word because you don't want the truth be told. Satan got you by the throat. He needs you. Satan needs you. The Father don't need you. That's one thing y'all don't get. The Father don't need us. He created us. So how the creator gonna need the creation? No, he's not. Look at the wind blowing. Can you see it? No. But you can see the movement of it by the, the uh, movement of the flowers and the trees. So you know it's some type of force making them trees move. That's how it is with Satan. He is a demonic force that make the souls in this world do evil things, blaspheme against the Most High and the Son. But I love Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. That is my whole verse that can never, never, I could never stop giving it. If your brethren... It's talked about more than the Most High and His Son. You're working with the devil. Your mother, your father, your pastor, your favorite, your favorite author of a, a book. Anything that is talked about more than the kingdom. You're working with Satan. Boasting and bragging 
lying, killing your brother and then your sister, tearing down your brother and your sister versus praying for them, helping them, speaking. You working with the devil. Using and abusing souls for money. Manipulating souls for money. Just so you can get through and you ain't got to take on the weight or the pressure. You working with Satan. Out here hunting for a man or a woman to take on your slack and your darkness. Because you can't, a lot of people, I don't care who you are and you can say what you want to say. I know because I done lived around many demonic folks in my lifetime. They cannot be alone. They cannot be alone. They cannot be alone. They have to find someone that they can use to feed those demons. Because they'll be tormented night and day. They can't even sleep at night. They got to find somebody that they got to criticize or gossip about. You're working with the devil. As long as you stay in your iniquities and as long as you dress up that flesh, as Galatians 5 said, sowing in the flesh reap corruption, but sowing in the spirit is everlasting life. You make your choice. You read the word, you read what you want to read in the word. No, you cannot pick and choose who you want to serve in the way God going. You can't pick the word and twist it and tangle it in the way you think it go. The way the word is written, that's the way you got to follow it. If you follow it any other way, you will be condemned. You condemned already. It's nothing to play with. When we're talking about the most high and you gave he gave up his only begotten son, then you got these scoffers around here just talking all kinds of ways because they reject the word because they fear Satan and his friends. Satan and his friends eat nothing. They lost and they dead. And if you keep following them, you gonna be dead. You and your soul. And that's the way it go. Anything else is a visible ink to us. Look up to the sky. Look at them clouds up there. Imagine the father sitting up there looking down on you, which he is. His eyes is everywhere. Watching you betray him after he done gave you all his love and gave up his only begotten son so his creation could be saved. And this is how you repay him. Your life is in danger when you play with the most high. Your life is in danger when you reject his son. You don't want nobody to reject you or your children or your loved ones. How you got the audacity to reject his only begotten son. You in danger. Prayers for each and every soul that rejects. Our king, he died for us. Every one of us, no respect the person, whoever want to be saved, repent and turn away from your sins and stay away from your sins. Other than that, if you die in your iniquities, you will not make it into his kingdom. Now let Satan tell you you will. Where he at? He trying to get a kingdom. That's why he got y'all so unstable and double-minded. Choose who you're going to serve. You only can serve one master. It ain't no two. It's only one. Blessings to each and every one of you. Much love.